I'm Anil Kumar and here is a thinking question from sequences and series. The question here is, the sum of the first n terms of a series is 3n square plus 5n divided by 2. Find the nth term. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now in this kind of a question, we should figure out what kind of series it is, right? So what we will do here is, we'll kind of make a table of values so that uh, we get to know the series, right? So we'll make a table of values and let us say, uh, we'll put different values of n and calculate. So, so we'll just write different values of n and then calculate what is uh, this term, which is 3n square plus 5n divided by 2. Remember, this is actually the sum. This is the sum of n terms, okay? The sum of first n terms is given like this. So if I write n equals to 1 and then calculate, then what do I get? If I write 1 here, then I get sum of the first term. So that is the first term itself, okay? Will be, I'm replacing n with 1. So it'd be 3 times 1 square plus 5 times 1 divided by 2, right? And that is uh, 3 plus 5, 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4, correct? So we get 4 here. Now second term is, when this is not the second term, it is the sum of two terms. Remember that, sum of two terms, not the second term. Okay, will be equal to 3, 2 square, plus 5 times 2 divided by 2. Let's use calculator, right? Because soon it is going to get very complicated. So that is not so difficult. We'll do 3 times 2 squared is 4. Uh, 3 times 4 plus 10, okay. Equals 2 and divide by 2 gives us 11. So what we get here is 11 and third. So sum of three terms will be so we'll replace n with 3. So 3, I mean, I mean, sorry, 3 times 3 square plus 5 times 3 divided by 2. This is okay. Let's calculate. So it is 3 times 3 square plus 5 times 3 equals 2 divided by 2 equals to 21. We can also calculate sum of fourth term, that is f4, which is 3 times 4 square plus 5 times 4 divided by 2. Okay, so we have 3 times 4 square plus 5 times 4 equals to divided by 2 equals to 34. Okay, so we have sum of all these terms. This is the sum of terms. So from here, can we find the terms? Okay, so from here, what can we find? Let's look into it. Let's look into it. Okay, so what we get here is sum of first term is 4. That means the first term, let's say A1, is, is 4, right? Sum of two terms is 11. So what is A2 equals to? A2 is 11 minus 11 minus 4, right? So it is 11 minus 4. So the second term is 7. Now, S3 is sum of three terms. So what is the third term? Third term is 21 minus 11, right? 21 minus 11, that is 10. The fourth term will be 34 minus 21, and that gives you 13, right? So what do you see here? So the terms are, so these are the terms. 4, 7, 10, and 13. So that means our terms in the series is, let's say series, is basically 4 plus 7 plus 10 plus 13, I mean, okay, 13, and so on. So as you can see from the series, we are adding 3. We are adding 3 each time. Do you see that? To get the next term, and that is arithmetic series, right? So that is arithmetic series. So what we figured out is that this sum 
is the sum for an arithmetic series, sum of n terms of arithmetic series, correct? So that is what is our conclusion. The question here is to really find the nth term. So we need to find the nth term. So we have found this is arithmetic series and now we have to find nth term. Okay, now this is given to us as sum of n terms is equals to 3n square plus 5n divided by 2, right? Let us rearrange this. So we can take n commons, we have n over 2 common, right? And we can write this as 3n plus 5. Now, as you know, the first term is is 4 for us, right? So the first term here is 4 for us. So we'll rewrite the term in the bracket as, as 4. So if we'll write 5 as 4 plus 1. So we can write this as 4 plus 3n plus 1, right? So the idea here is we have written in terms of first term and the other term, which is the nth term, right? So, so which is basically equals to and we have the formula of Sn as n over 2 times the first term plus the nth term, right? So that is the formula for sum of n terms. So if you compare these formulas, we know A, the first term is 4, nth term is 3n plus 1, right? So from comparison, we can say the nth term is... 3n plus 1. You get an idea. So that is how we can actually solve this question, right? So rearrange the given sum and write it using the formula. That is, the average of first and last term times n is the sum of n terms in arithmetic series, right? So that becomes the answer for us. So as you realize, in solving this question, first we proved that this is sum of arithmetic series, right? So we just found few terms and we proved that it's the sum of arithmetic series starting at 4 and the common difference is 3. The nth term is given to us. We rearranged it with first term as 4 and whatever was left is the nth term, 3n plus 1. That is our answer. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope you appreciate it. Thank you and all the best.